is. This is just a quick little glimpse video. Well, like a little quick video because I'm about to go and get sushi with my cousins and Dave. Yep, random combination indeed. So, about this. It's like a makeup convention at Selfridges and they had loads of deals on Nars, Ma Nars Mars. Nars Mars. They had loads of deals with like MAC, Nars, um, so many brands benefit. I can't list them all off the top of my head. But basically I got quite a few things. Can you hear that? Not the rain, but Dave talking to my dog, that's kind of weird. I went in, I gave him my ticket, and then they snapped this on my wrist. What's really, really cool about this is, even though it's just a ticket and you might all think I'm lame, you might all think I'm a bit weird, is that this really epic eye on it. I will actually wear that out. So I got a few things. The top of my head, I got... Well, yeah, I'm not even going to list off the top of my head. It's, me po it's pointless me telling you when I can show you. Okay, so we are going to cut to my... MAC products that I bought, which were... Okay, stuff I picked up from MAC was a Fix Plus spray. I've always wanted some of this stuff, so yeah. And I got some... Hey, you can see my reflection a bit. <laughs> I got some Mineralize Skin Finish Natural Powder, and this is in medium. And I also got this shade stick in slick black. It's a grease paint stick, apparently. I don't know why I said shade stick, and then I rebought the my favorite lipstick of all time, and I've used it a little bit. I don't know if you can tell. And this is Impassioned, and it's one of the amplified lipsticks. I absolutely love this lipstick. It's my favorite all time Mac lipstick. And then my second favorite is the red one, which is like oh my god, amazing red. And then I bought my very first pigment. So I thought I would start off with Naked. I've heard really good things about Naked and apparently it makes a really good highlighting colour and it's really good for highlighting the brow bone and makes a really nice eyeshadow too so all around I thought that was a really good one to start off with so yeah that's what I bought from MAC. Now for the NARS products. Okay I'm filming the rest of this video at night because I had to rush out for sushi so now I'm going to show you the rest of the things that I got. Currently we are zooming in on a blush colour I bought from NARS. This is the famous orgasm. Yes, I was zoomed in quite a lot. So yeah, I decided to pick this up because apparently everyone has to have orgasm and I wanted to see what the rage was about. Did a swatch, thought it was absolutely beautiful and then I was struggling to decide whether I should buy this one or Super Orgasm and then I was like, oh my god! And then I was like, I don't know what to do! <laughs> And I was talking to the lady about it, and then she basically said, why don't I just mix this with glitter whenever I want like a slightly glitter, like a slightly glittery orgasm. I know that sounds weird. And then I thought, you know what? Yeah, so if I get this one, at least then I have the option of glitter. And as you can see when I zoom in, it already has quite a bit of glitter in it. So yes, so that's orgasm, which I now absolutely adore, by the way. So as well as orgasm, close that now. So as well as Orgasm, I also bought their highlighting slash blush colour, which is New Order. Now apparently this is only going to be available for a certain amount of time. I can't remember what that word is, where you can only really buy it like from this month to this month. It's like a temporary kind of thing that NARS are doing. And this, as you can tell, incredibly, and I mean like incredibly glittery. And I fell in love with this fell in absolute love. It swatches amazingly. If you put it on an eyeliner, it really does, it can make any eyeliner like glittery. As well as that, you can mix it with any blush you like and I've been mixing it with orgasm to make super orgasm. So really I thought that instead of buying super orgasm, I could just mix this with orgasm and it creates this really nice glittery version of orgasm, aka super orgasm. So that's what I decided to do instead of buying super orgasm. And this is, hey look, you can see my video camera just chilling here in the background. This is an absolutely gorgeous, and I mean full on gorgeous shade. So mixing this with orgasm, woohoo! And I've still got the slips on. I've still got the little piece of paper on because I'm a geek, even though I've used everything that I'm showing you right now from NARS. So that's that. Last but not least from NARS, I got their duo eyeshadow. Yeah, I say duo really weird, especially for an English person. 
apparently I'm supposed to say duo, but to me that just sounds like I'm talking about Jews and O. Oh. So I always say duo. It's like I always say Tuesday instead of Tuesday. So it's like I've picked up on some like American slang. But yeah, you've got a really nice yellowy green and a really nice electric blue. Now for all the free stuff that I got. So in this NARS bag, I got a little leaflet talking to me about their lipsticks, lip pencils. And then I got this leaflet with some tester foundation in it. And then here we got Focus. A little bit of their illuminator to try. Some of their eye makeup remover to try. Some of their makeup oil cleanser apparently that's what that is and some brightening serum to try and I've not actually opened this yet okay and in here we have the orgasm illuminator and then here we have some pore refining primer so I'm guessing that's face primer or eye primer so there's some freebies that I got and there's one here that I've missed out. Oh, and then I also got a soft touch shadow pencil for free too. So I thought that was actually a pretty good deal and that's not all I got from NARS. Last thing I got from NARS was this makeup case. And I've used it, so if it's a bit dirty that's because I've actually used it. And we have a little pouch here. Some little slots here. And then that zips up nicely and then there's another section here for brushes which is really cool and I like how it has the flap that's really sanitary that's really good and then a little zip here to put more stuff and I've used this once already and it was incredibly helpful and really cute as well so that's a winner that's a winner my friends so from NARS I got this really shiny booklet basically with loads of pictures of NARS stuff so basically an advertisement for all the makeup and it talks about the shadows and the lipsticks and stuff like that it has the odd tip in it and at the very back well, not that page. It's got loads of pictures of people using NARS products. What I like about this page is it's kind of inspiration for me, so I don't know whether I'm going to cut, like, colours out or stuff. I'll just leave this booklet the way it is. But, yeah, that was a really cute booklet that came with everything, too. Oh, and I also got this NARS gel hydrator, but I don't have a clue what to do with that just yet. It was also really cool because like they had free champagne and free pink lemonade all night so you paid a tennis get in and that was refundable like towards whatever you purchased it took 10 pounds off which was really cool so practically it was free because you're not gonna go to an event like this and not buy anything so there was champagne and there was pink lemonade and it was pretty cool i didn't have any pink lemonade by the way if alcohol's free you're gonna drink it if you're jess but if it's free then you're obviously gonna have the alcohol well Andrew was, had like two glasses of champagne and what I did is every time I went to a counter I got some champagne and then when I went to the next counter on the way there I get some champagne and they had a chocolate fountain which was really cool they had donuts and strawberries and sweets and profiteroles and stuff like that and then there's a lady there that if you had one of those wristbands on that I just showed you she'd give you like unlimited amounts of that you got one stick and then if you came back in like five minutes you could get another stick of the stuff which I thought was really cool it's suddenly gone really bright outside really bright. Ah! Sitting a bit back now because the light's actually blinding me. And so other than that, they also also had like this little sweet section that you went up to. And then you got like a little bag of sweets too if you showed them like your wristband too, which was really 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 epically cool. Random as hell. But these are like the free sweets that I actually got. Yum. Look at that. I got a drumstick, a banana, some chewy, some blackjacks. Mmm, sweets. But yeah, that was actually the free sweets I've got and I've only ate half of them, so yeah, I just thought I'd randomly show you that. So, yeah, that was really, really fun. But you was only allowed one bag of sweets, which is a bit disappointing. But then in the goodie bag that you got if you spent over 50 quid, which of course I spent over 50 quid, judging by all the stuff that I bought, that had like some more sweets in it and stuff. I think I'm just obsessed with sweets, really. Yeah. Okay, I've just emptied two goodie bags worth. And look, there's a receipt. Let's not look at that. That'll make me feel bad. But yeah, um, this is all the free stuff that I got um, that I've not used or played with. And if you see doubles of things, that's because I snuck away with two goodie bags. Because basically, I went to the Mac counter, spent over 50 quid, and they gave me a goodie bag. 
and she didn't take it off on my receipt. So then I went to the other place, spent over 50 quid and they gave me my goodie bag and ticked it off my receipt. So I got two goodie bags. So practically in some of these, I've actually got like a full product if you calculate the amount together. I know I'm sneaky, but that's the way you gotta be when stuff's expensive, right? So here I got some, wait, new chubby stick moisturizing lip balm. They're toffee lips. They're sweets. Liars. Okay, right, I know the sweets. I'm just pissing. Okay, and then here from Clarins, I got some gentle refining exfoliating cream. I got two of those. And then here we have your exclusive invitation to a Lancome makeover. You can choose any of these. Woo, and I got two of those because I'm all so sneaky again. And then here we have a little tester perfume. Woo. And that would go really cool in my purse or something. And here we have an Estee Lauder lipstick. You can tell I've opened it already. Really pretty colours actually, really pretty colours. So that's that. And then here, I think this is a sample eyeshadow. Yeah, it's actually a creamy foundation, my bad. So yeah, that's that. And then here we have a sample of perfume, Alien, by that guy. And then here we have more perfume. Ah! It's called Untitled. Oh, wow. That's an expressive title, isn't it? And then here we have more Clarins stuff. This is... One Step Closer Water Comfort. I think this is toner. I think this is toner. And then here we have two Beauty Flash Balms. Then here we have early wrinkle correcting lotion. Um, somehow I th don't think I'm going to be needing that. <laughs> and then here there's two bare mirror neural sets. We've got a really cute little brush here and some pigment. And then I doubled up on that so it's like a full pigment. Aha! Well, ish. Then here we have some lipsticks. How cute are they? Baby lipsticks. <laughs> it's I'm so glad that I got two, so if I like that colour, it'll last me extra longer. And then we got some more NARS stuff. What's this? Some foundation. And then here we have some Lancome Genifique. Um, what's this? Okay, I'm not quite sure what that is. That's a box with Lancome on it. Then here we've got a free mascara from YSL or whatever. I can't pronounce the name. I think it's French. And then here we have two mini Bobbi Brown foundations. Um, one in beige and this one's in warm beige. So yeah, so I could possibly use this for me now. And then I could probably use this for summer, even though I don't really tend to tan in the face. So yeah. So there's my pile of goodies I just took you through. Not bad, eh? Not bad. While I'm doing this video, I thought I'd just show you where I've put all my testers that I just got. I've put them in this little glass thing. In my makeup drawer, I thought I would show that. Okay, so this is a box that my mum gave me some time ago. And it's really old, as you can see, by the slight dirty stains on it. I've tried to clean it, but it's not really doing its thing. It's quite vintage, so I kind of like the fact it's a bit dirty. And if I didn't like it that way, it'd be tough shit because I've tried cleaning it. <laughs> so yeah, in here, I've put my NARS testers here and my spare little brush. I've put the other brush in my collection and here I've put more of my NARS testers to try out and then here I put all three NARS products that I actually own. Um, put both my blushes there and my eyeshadow duo. So that's the only eyeshadow that's not with the rest of my eyeshadows but I kind of like the fact all my NARS makeup is together because because it is quite expensive I don't want to lose it kind of thing. And look at that cute mirror. Hello breast! So yeah, in that drawer. And then in this drawer is actually just my CoverGirl blushes because I've put every single blush I own in here. I thought that these should go with it too, see? So I do use drugstore brands as you do, like as the Americans say, drugstore brands. That's a crap American accent, Jess. <laughs> but yeah, so I've got my like NARS blushes there and my 
because the girl blushes here. And then in this drawer, ah, I've got my Body Shop blush and highlight. I've got my NARS eyeliner. And then this is the Orgasm Illuminating Cream that I need to try out. So this is basically like kind of highlighters as well, highlighters and blushes. Ah. In here, because I got two of these mascaras from the actual event, I put one, mas one of the mascaras with my actual mascaras and this one in this box. So that way, when the other one runs out, I can come back and get that one. And then here I've put two of my testers. Note to self, try those out. And then here I've put the Lancome testing things. Apparently these are youth activating creams. So I don't even know if I can actually use these, but I know where they are if I do want to try them. And then here I've got my very first blush ever. And I mean ever. Do you know why I'm here? I'm going to show you it. This is it. My very first blush ever and it's not even fully run out yet. I think it's NYC. I'm not sure. Yeah, it is NYC. In rose glow. You can just tell it's old by the um, pattern there. And then this lid was literally a lid that I found. Because it's so old, I lost the lid for it kind of thing. You know, pesky teenager and all that lot. Even though I'm 19, so I'm not even that old. So yeah, um, that's how I've kind of organised the products, the free products I got, with my actual products and my actual makeup that I have now. So yeah, I just need to figure out where to put this box so it's neat and tidy and easy accessible. So on my shelf I've put my Clarins testers here and my full sized Clarins product there with my actual face products and this pops nicely on my shelf. Okay, so this is like random foundations and as you can see the foundations that are tipped on the head are old foundations that I want to get all the actual product out of. See what I tend to do with my old Revlon foundations, as you can see, very old. I'll keep them like this for a while and then keep going back to them and using the foundation and then when there is no foundation at all and it won't run to the bottom no longer, I throw it away or recycle it. So they're still kind of doing their thing at the moment. And this is like a stupidly old foundation and the colour is too dark for me. So if anyone's sleeping at my house and they need foundation and there are lots more tanned than me, then I tend to give them this. Weirdly enough, sometimes old fa old foundations go off, but I found a lot of the time they're actually not that bad. It takes quite some time to, you know, do its thing. Okay, with these Bobbi Brown foundations, I'm actually just going to shove them in here because they're small. And that way, they can be tucked away doing their own thing. And when I want to test them out, I can come and play. Okay, this is all the paper that I got from the event. See my art drawer? Hello, paper! Okay, tissue paper can actually be really expensive sometimes, so that can go in my art drawer for when I want to do funky stuff with it. Anyways, I'm going to go get sushi now, and I'm actually going to take my video camera with me, so let's see if I actually record anything. Bye, guys! Oh, is that my pen on the floor? I've been looking for that. I'm weird.